Toto's Steve Lukather and Steve Picaro talk about bad meetings with fans. You're going to have a bad day. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. I've been in radio for 35 years. I've interviewed some people who were not so nice. But here's the thing. Almost everyone I've ever talked to, whether it's a phoner or on Skype or in person, they've always been really nice. Even when I was getting into radio in, what was it, 83, I think it was. And I was so nervous and I, and I was shaking during interviews and everyone was kind of nice. They felt probably sad for me. And when I did have a bad encounter with someone, I'd always, it'd be easy to, to contact a colleague and ask, hey, was he like that with you? But then there's the other side of it. Well, you know, what if they're having a bad day? I talked to Steve Picaro all about that. People catch me seriously still to this day. I try to be a nice guy. I, I have that other, I err on the other side. I think I too often want people like to want to be like believe me even on the road uh, people can catch me on a bad day i've just got i've just had a horrible phone call or whatever and it's they can meet me on a wrong day and wish they hadn't uh, luca told me that david uh, somehow there was a story about david had met some guy who wanted to meet him big fan and david was going through some stuff and just honest stuff and for whatever reason thought david page was the biggest asshole in the world and <laughs> and luke was saying he says hey man he had a bad day <laughs> And David, you know, I got to tell you, you know, sometimes we say that about, <laughs> about David. <What> a... <laughs> he's just aloof sometimes. Sometimes he's just, his mind is somewhere else, you know? So let's just interrupt right now. I'm going to put in the clip that Steve Lukather shared with me about someone not liking David Page because he was really having a bad day and had a good excuse for having a bad day. Well, the thing is, people meet you for the first time and say, in one case, I remember a uh, Somebody held a grudge against David Page for years. Somebody famous, actually, held a grudge against David because they met him backstage once and he blew him off. Well, that was the night his mother died. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there are certain cases when you catch somebody on a bad day that doesn't want to explain why, that if, you, if they brush past you or don't perhaps give you the time that you think you deserve, there may be some other problems in their life. Yeah. You know, it's not, we're always as kind as we possibly can be to the people that have been supporting us. If yeah. at all possible. Yeah. Um, certainly none of us mistreat our fans. I mean, we're not like teen idol types where people run and scream and want a piece of our hair or something like that. I, I think we're all past that, you know? <laughs> so funny, when people hate us, like, there's a picture of us that, have, that goes around that people say we're the ugliest band in the world. And all this. We're leaning against the wall, dressed like complete schlubs, because we were at a rehearsal and somebody took, a, like, just the Polaroid. Now, people thought that we put that out as our, as our press, you know, 8 by 10 And it's the one, you know, I, everybody's seen it. I mean, the people that don't like us use it all the time to make the point that we're just a bunch of schlubs. But one in fact is the way we dress is because we didn't give a shit about the way we dress. Mm -hmm. We were musicians, you know. It was our punk rock mentality towards stylish musician but we if we were going to take a real picture i think we would try a little harder than that if you want to see toto in concert this year you sure can 40 trips around the sun it's their big 40th anniversary tour you can get tickets via the links in the description of this video make sure you comment on our video subscribe to our channel and share our video i'm john bowden this is rock history music mm -hmm.